All right, so please just don't take me serious right now. This is my first wig. I've never bought a wig before. This is from Rad Swan. They are black owned, Freddie Harrell. This is not meant to be cute, but it does come with like a nice packaging. I got the beginner kit, so awesome stickers. Comes with the gorgeous scarf. What is this? I think this is a sleeve. Oh, this is the um the thing that you put on your head, the cap, the wig cap. Hold up. Yeah, so this is um her specialized wig cap that you wear. Okay. It's too big. It's too big. I have too small of a head for this amount of a hair. Like it's too big. I don't know if the camera is gonna catch how delicious, yeah, the camera's not catching it, but this, okay, this angle's a little bit better. This scarf is beautiful, you hear me? It has red swan on it, it's got like peppering of green, oh, and it feels amazing, woo, delicious. All right, so, it's just too much hair for me. I have a small head, small face. It's too much hair for me. So I have to learn how to, um, like, I don't know, cut it, shrink it. Again, first wig. I'm a black woman with 4C hair who really does not know how to take care of her hair and I'm okay with that. I think I'm gonna definitely do like a bang situation hopefully like by the time this comes out i'll have already figured it out um i'm just in a new chapter of my life and i am comfortable with doing things with my hair that i'm not like comfortable with or that is new to me and something that's new to me is me taking care of my 4c hair um that's a whole nother video, but this is the first time in a long time that I have had hair to take care of. actually have hair that I want to keep that I don't want to cut off and I was doing braids for four years straight so I like it but my head is too small this is too much hair for one person um, and I like to look as natural as possible but I also am becoming comfortable with okay it doesn't always have to look natural it can because this is fabulous right this is fabulous but I think I'm going to do like a bang. I think a bang and then I'm going to cut it. So I will figure it out. Wish me luck. Anyway, the hair quality is incredible. The hair quality is incredible. Packaging is amazing. They have other wigs that I would love to try. But this is my first wig. I am happy to support a black woman owned business. And I know that this will eventually look good. I just have to like get used to it. I don't know, by the time this video comes out, I'll probably already be a wig master. I'll be in Atlanta laying wigs, honey. And yes, this is the lace front, but I like tucked the lace because I just needed to see what it was like. But yeah, it's a lace front and so I'm like scared to cut it. <sighs> but we gonna make it work. We gonna make it work. All right, pray for me y'all, pray for me. Cause I can't emphasize enough, like, in reality, it's like, if I saw me from far away, I'd be like, okay, that's a lot of hair. But also it's like intriguing, but also like, I just need to cut this. I need to cut the camera and I need to cut this wig. It's just so like, I don't know, it's giving, it's giving, I don't know.
All right, time to take the day off. So one thing I do not like to do is I don't like to talk about, well, what I will say is I, so I use a Cure Beauty. I've worked with them in the past. It's not focusing, but this is the Essentials Moroccan Argan Oil. I like to wash my hands before I clean my face. So I just, I still do the oil method. So I just put some oil in my hands and do a wipe. Get that mascara. The thing is, relationships are not about compromise at all. And we've been like tricked and programmed to believe that you have to compromise. Insert Eartha Kit clip here. Compromise for what? Compromise for who? Compromise. <laughs> right? Because think about it. When you're compromising, you are high key, low key hiding a version of yourself. If you and then I go ahead and go in again with the oil. And then I go ahead and use a little bit of water on my microfiber towel. And just take it off again. If you are hiding a version of yourself, a part of yourself, to make someone else comfortable, that's, no. You're making someone else comfortable, but also you are betraying yourself. So I go ahead and I use my black soap, moisturizing shea butter based black soap from my brand Salome Shea, the only cleanser I have been using for two years now, or is it three now? If you are hiding a version of yourself to make someone else that you are in a relationship with comfortable, should you be with that person? Should you be friends with that person? Should you be working at that company? We've been so programmed to say that we are not enough and in order for us to receive love, in order for us to have people in our life, in order for no one to abandon us, to leave us, we have to hide a version of ourselves. We have to make ourselves small to be accepted, to be loved so that nobody leaves and so that we never feel that pain again. It's all bullshit because every part of you, the good, the bad, the magnificent, the great, the ugly was all created by the creator and so was everyone else. So if I am on a journey and I am hiding a version of myself to make someone comfortable, how is that fair to me? Doesn't it just make more sense to find somebody that you are most compatible with? I'm really going in and scrubbing because I really want to make sure that my skin is super, super cleansed and clear. I just got a pimple in the middle of the forehead. My skin has been breaking out a little bit on the forehead and on the sides from wearing um, the wig and using new products. So I'm really cleaning up and I'm talking to y'all. So I'm actually getting in a good clean. I usually wouldn't take this long, but does anyone else have to like spit when you do your skincare? Or is it just me? All right, so I don't know why I just wiped my face because I'm gonna go in with my human made uh, enzyme, enzyme scrub. Best product I have definitely ever used outside of my own products. Fight me, I don't care. This scrub, game changer. Okay, I've been using this since it came out. Whatever year it came out, I bought it. Okay, this is gentle 
and just so good and really, really does the job. So I'm gonna leave that on for a little bit. Now, that's the thing, it's like, wouldn't you just wanna be with someone that you know that like, you never have to hide your crystals from, you never have to be afraid to take a shit in front of, that you can express your weirdest ideas and not feel like, oh man, they don't like crystals, so I'm gonna hide my crystals, or they don't believe that women should poop, so I'm gonna not poop. Isn't that insane? That we've been programmed and conditioned to believe that we are not enough, and so we have to hide ourselves to be enough for another human who also has the ego, who also doesn't feel like they're enough? No, that's something I realized today because I was talking to someone and I recognized that I was willing to put away my tarot cards because they don't believe in that or they had a very bad experience with that. And it's like, then you have to deal with that. You have to deal with why you have that issue. I don't, and I don't wanna talk about um, see, that's the thing. I don't really like to talk about my romantic life at all on the internet, like at all. There's like, I think very few videos where I talk about my romantic life and I'm probably about to delete them because that is something that is a very, I think, sensitive topic for me in my personal life. And it is not something that I really want to ever share on the internet um, by my choice, you know what I mean? Like I never, I don't see myself like, you know, doing like couple vlogs and couple stuff like that. I don't see that for myself because relationships are way more sacred and like, yes, you make a lot of money um, in partnership vlogs and YouTubes and stuff like that. But the thing is that like, If that's the only reason why I would show that man's face, then I need to rewire some things within myself. Does anyone else have to spit after they wash their face? I'll be like <laughs> Okay, so now I go ahead and I go in with my rose water <clears throat> rose water cleanse or um, rose water um, toner. This is pure rose water from India. You can get it from the Indian market. Again, I have been doing, using this product for, don't, mm -mm, don't tell me I just saw a mustache, honey. No. That's one of the good things about not being a hairy person is you don't have to worry about no upper lip Colonel Sanders mustache going on, right? So I go ahead and give myself like a little like wave. And then I use my May Lindstrom mask bowl. <laughs> and then I use this blend of, what does this have? It has lavender, Aztec healing clay, and another, another clay that's meant for the body, but you can use it for the face. I just put a little bit in there. I take an old makeup brush. Remember when we used to use these make uh, brushes for foundation? I go ahead and take that because I'm the queen of repurposing and upcycling. Like, uh, before I throw something away, I'm like, what can I use this for? What can I use this for? So I go ahead and I put this mask on. Now, I really don't leave my masks on for that long. I'm not even gonna lie. And I like to put my masks on under my underarms to extract any excess, I almost said it, I almost said energy, but that's not what I mean. To extract any excess, um, I don't even know. Like, I used to do it all the time when I was transitioning from aluminum-based deodorants to um, toxic free or aluminum free deodorants like a hundred years ago and a lot of people like the thing about wearing organic deodorants is that or non uh, aluminum free deodorants is that you have to switch them out because your body gets used to 
that deodorant. So you have to, let me tuck my little ghetto cornrow <laughs> into itself. Not it poking out like a little tail. Oh, I don't know how to cornrow. That's a whole nother video. Anyway, so I was using this for a while, this crystal deodorant. Worked amazing for maybe a year or two, and then I had to let it go because it wasn't working anymore. That's why I take Aztec Healing Clay underneath my underarms anytime I do a mask to extract all of the buildup, buildup so that my underarms can be clean and clear. So I use, now I use Dr. Organic. This is based in the UK, and this is the Manuka Honey one. Girl, wow. Okay, non-pore clogging, it is it has bio, it's organic certified, bioactive skincare. Wow, I when I went to London, I just bought a bunch of them because my camera is full, but right now I am making some food out of the things that are in my fridge. And you guys know I love, love, love to cook. I'm cooking and eating at the same time. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. So, not me making a pink sauce like the pink sauce lady. Not me making a pink sauce like the pink sauce lady. Shout out to her. So anyway, I've just taken red onions, garlic, and I took some red onions, garlic, tomato and I'm about to add some basil and oregano but I added some Jamaican curry powder some cayenne pepper some Bragg's nooch and I'm gonna let that sit I'm gonna add some nice meaty onion um, onion nice meaty mushrooms add some basil some Kalamata olives I don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna eat that over quinoa so that I have food for at least the next few days or so before I go grocery shopping, whenever that will be. So today I realized that I am too financially dependent on my parent and my credit card. And I came to this earth, My one of my soul lessons is independence, relying fully and completely on myself. That is my soul lesson, okay? So, you need to find your own, but that's my soul lesson. And you can find this out by looking at your natal chart, discovering what houses are where, what's who, who's what. <sighs> so I realized that, yes, I'm going to be financially wealthy in this lifetime, but it's not going to come from universe, bring me a thousand dollars and feeling into that. Like, yes, that works, but really that, doesn't always work for me because I am here to learn independence. And how can I learn? I don't need to learn how to manifest. I have to learn how to be financially fully and completely reliant on myself. And I had a cry, cried when I came home. Cause like, why should my fridge be like empty right now? You know, like why? Why should I be? <clears throat> oh, there's shea butter in my hair. Why should I be financial? Uh, you know, charging things on my credit card. You know, like where the cash at, nigga? Where the cash at? Where the cash at, nigga? What? Where, where's the cash at, Abina? money and money loves me and money comes to me very easily I have a very beautiful relationship with money now I just have to be completely ooh, reliant on myself it does not need olives it does not need the basil because it is
flavorful. And as long as the quinoa cooks right, I'm gonna be having some tonight. It's the night where to become one. Like I am the girl that always has a job, but I'm also the girl that used to always quit her jobs. Now, I am learning, right? I'm learning how to be a human. I'm learning myself. And I'm learning that where I work, the facilities really matters. Like, what am I doing every day? I don't like to be, I don't like to be bored at work, right? That's one thing about me. I do not like to be bored at work. I like to be doing stuff. I like to be active. I have a very active mind. So I need to be really active at work. You know, I can't just be sitting around gossiping. No, like give me any menial task. It doesn't matter. I have to be able to do that. And I have never made a red onion based stew sauce before. So I'm really happy about that. This angle is not good. The lighting is not good, but it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. <laughs> As if that was any better. Yikes, you guys can barely see me, but you guys, you guys know what I look like. You're not coming here to see how I look. You're coming here to See what I'm cooking. I'm here to catch the gems dropping. You know, so it's important to me where I work. It's important to me how I make money. I'm gonna add a little water. Just a little salty. Just a little salty. So we wanna add water to kind of break that up a little bit. Put the heat on low and i cooked my quinoa in coconut water mm. yeah if you have never cooked your quinoa with coconut water just coconut water coconut oil adding the oil straight to the pot um to get that nice like flavor it's really good actually let me add just a pinch no, I like my coconut oil clean. I don't like putting salt on my coconut oil. On my quinoa. I'm hungry. That's why I'm talking like this. I'm so hungry. That's why I'm making up meals as I go. This, the month of July, I did an inner child healing series. Be sure to check that out if you are looking to how to start your inner child healing journey. Because at the end of the day, the reason why you have the relationships you have, you have the money that you have, you have the physical appearance that you have, is from your inner child. Whether you're holding on to trauma or anything like that. Look at my sunflowers. Oh my god, so pretty. I adore. Right now I'm watching Bells on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> I just think she has a sweet personality. And I do like watching her vlogs. But look at my setup. Shout out to Vitruvi. Gifted me this, this, and that. <laughs> my beautiful tarot cards, which I love, love, love. Divine, divine, divine. And yeah, so actually I'm about to 
This is my bookcase. I am an avid reader, okay? Avid. I've been reading since I was a child. I don't play around when it comes to reading, okay? I am an avid reader. This is only some of my books. I mean, I think I've definitely read almost a thousand books in my lifetime. So, let me go on ahead, set up the camera, because I'm cleaning out this fridge. It is dirty wine, dirty wine. Dutty wine, dutty wine, dutty wine. Okay, it is dirty, okay? I love cleaning. I can clean, I love cleaning my bathroom. I love cleaning my um, kitchen. My kitchen is always clean, but the fridge is like my least favorite thing to clean. Like I will clean the bathtub and the toilet Probably because like you just use the bathtub and the toilet more, but yeah, I really don't like cleaning the fridge. It's like a whole thing. So I'm trying to set it up so that we can clean my fridge together and listen to, so we can clean my fridge together and listen to bells. Judge me if you want to, I care. Okay, I'm in the care. I'm in the care. Judge me if you want to. You're just a human like me. You're just a human like me. Judge me if you want to. I'm in the care. So, I'm probably just gonna fast forward through this, but yeah, let's get into this cleaning. So as you all know, this is a toxic free household. I do not use products that have any toxins in them. So right now I am using my all purpose cleaner from Grove, which is 100% non-toxic. And then I'm using my um, Aunt Fanny's all purpose cleaning vinegar to go ahead and clean. The freezer part, freezer part I'm probably gonna use the same exact thing for um, to clean the bottom part of the fridge and and I clean with my old sapo sponge I sell sapo sponges from Ghana if you don't know now you know now I am all about upcycling and recycling so that means that when you are when your sapo sponge sapo sponges last about two years okay they never build up bacteria People have been using them in Ghana for a very long time. So you can use it on your coochie, you can use it on your butt, on your anus, and you'll be good to go. You're fine, okay? I don't use sapo sponges on my face. But um, anyway, the point is, don't throw them away when you're done. Upcycle it. You, I use this to clean the bathtub, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and use that to clean the freezer so that I'm not wasting um, paper towel. Right, so we're trying to be as eco-conscious as possible. One person does make a difference. I buy all of my non-toxic products at The Grove. The Grove, grove.co, if you're watching this, okay, hear me up. <laughs> I'm just looking at all of my cleaning products and I'm just so proud of my lifestyle. Okay, cause it's a lifestyle, hun. It's a lifestyle. So that is it now that it is clean using all organic products non sorry non toxic products super clean okay it works all right because a lot of people have issues getting pregnant and it's a lot of it is the toxic chemicals in the cleaning products in the in the fragrances in the 
um, the parabens, the phthalates, right? These are all hormone disruptors. You need your hormones when you are trying to get pregnant. So a lot of people, sorry, I should probably turn bells off. I'm showing, okay, the lighting is just not good, but y'all know what I look like. Studies have shown that once a person who was trying to get pregnant took out the toxic products from their, this looks crazy. <laughs> What products are we putting in and around our bodies and our babies every day? So now we're going to, I'm gonna leave out the shea butter products and clean those with a paper towel because I want it to be extra clean for my customers. And then I'm gonna put everything back. Let me just go ahead and wipe everything down. So I'm just gonna wipe everything down with the reusable paper cloth. I don't know what it is. There's like these black specks on here. I think it's from, um, I don't know what it's from. To be honest, I think it's like charcoal. Or to say it again a non-toxic glass cleaner and it works let me see if i can find the original bottle yeah so there this is it this is the glass cleaner made from essential oils plant derived and they just add water and um they have this beautiful um spray bottle so yeah let me go ahead and clean off these um shea butters all right, you see it's sparkling clean. I bought this from Whole Foods. I did not know that I liked Cabernet Sauvignon. I did not know this. Okay, I am not a, focus, yeah. I'm not a white wine gel. I'm not a rose gel. I am a Malbec, okay. I love a good Malbec and Cabernet Sauvignon. Now I know, okay, because I didn't know that before. I didn't know, now I know. Again, this kimchi from Trader Joe's, banging. Am I keeping this container to upcycle it? Yes. Do I keep cut up onions in here? Yes. Okay, upcycle. We've got some pitted dates. I love having pitted dates. I've got some, <laughs> you're human too, so don't judge me. I've got some three day old tea that I never drank. I will drink it tomorrow. Make it taste better, okay? Makes it taste, oh, I was looking for this and it was in the fridge. Some Hershey's Kisses. I'm gonna put these in the freezer, actually. Hey, beautiful ones. So right now I am just basking in my own melanin, basking in my own beauty with the sun hitting me. And right now I'm just uploading content that I shot back in like April <laughs> and it's August for my London vlog. And by the time this video comes out, that video will probably be next. Um, I tried to shoot like a mini vlog and put it on Instagram, flop, plop, put it on TikTok. Nobody wanted anything to do with it. So now it has to live somewhere. I've shot this content. It has to live somewhere. I'm not going to just delete it and be defeated. I'm going to put it up on here. And I was thinking like, you know, all of these people are doing like daily or uh, weekly vlogs, weekly vlogs. And I'm like, oh, okay, I want to do that too. But then I also have to remember, like, I was doing vlogs when I lived in LA. And that was, like, 
back in 2018 and from 2014 2018 I was doing vlogs so I just have to remember like sometimes when you are a trendsetter like you have to make sure that like if you're doing thing if you're a pioneer you're a trendsetter you're always going to be ahead and when you are ahead people aren't really doing what you're doing and then people catch up and it kind of sucks because people catch up to what you were doing before and then if you're not doing that thing because you're a pioneer you've moved on to the next thing then sometimes it feels like you have to go backwards to what you were doing but I don't know if that's a part of just like seeing what other people are doing and wanting to do that because it looks fun do I actually enjoy the experience of shooting weekly vlogs do I feel um, like is this aligned for me and where am I going with my YouTube channel? These are questions that I ask myself all the time. Like, the intention is that two things, to be a vessel on this earth, to be a vessel, and to have my own talk show. Like, that's it. Talk show, TV show, documentary, director, producer, actor. That's literally the goal. So now I'm at this point where I'm like, okay, wait, what is my why? Like, why am I creating content? Why am I doing weekly vlogs? Like, am I, what part of, because I know you will enjoy it, but what am I getting out of it, right? Like, is it that I want brand deals? Is it that I want to make more money through YouTube? Is it that I want more subscribers? Is it that I enjoy the process of sharing my life like is it that i want to be one of the few people that really looks like me and thinks like me on youtube let's talk about that because there are a lot of beautiful women on youtube but they're not giving you the wisdom they're not giving you intelligence okay they're not giving you life advice you know and that's where i'm a vessel i'm a vessel you know so and obviously no shade to them but at the end of the day it's like okay well what can I what's different that I could bring to the table as far as weekly vlogs go like what can I bring different to the table so I'm just I'm figuring it out guys I'm figuring it out I'm really because I'm not someone that is motivated by money but I do enjoy and I'm blessed that I only make money doing things that I love and that is something that I have manifested for myself so it's just interesting it's just interesting to be in this place right now to feel like okay you know my numbers are going up I'm doing well I'm feeling I'm feeling good I'm feeling I feel happy and content and satisfied with myself no matter what the ego tries to tell me I'm comfortable with being happy I'm comfortable with being in this new energy in this new space of my life and i realized that now i'm ranting but you're gonna follow me on this rant now i realize that hold up this leg is crooked now i realize that i am very happy being single and it's not because some of the men that i meet just don't I really don't know how to word it, but I, I'm, I'm coming out of attracting karmic relationships. Um, and when it's karmic, it's really intense and it's really just like not long lasting. It's not, doesn't feel safe or comfortable, you know? Um, so it's like when those karmic relationships die out, I feel like I'm happy, so happy being single. Like, could not be happier but I'm also not opposed to the idea of being partnered but I'm so happy single like so that's why it's like when someone comes around you really 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 super serious have to add to my life and like in a completely new way because I don't need attention or affection or um validation or love or 
sex or gifts or I don't need that stuff I have everything I need within me that's what I came here to learn as a soul I came here to learn self-love that's what I came here for and I have learned my lesson so I am everything that I need so when a man comes into my space you really 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 have to be at that level within yourself he has to love himself deeply. He has to really like himself. He has to uh, prioritize his well-being. He has to um, have success in whatever that means for him. He has to vibrationally match that self-love. Okay. Because I used to be like, I'm going to marry a rich man. I'm going to marry a nice man. And these were it was all programming from the women in my family. That was not true for me. So that's a question for yourself. You're praying and asking for a specific type of partner. Is that true for you? Or is that because someone else told you to have that? Right? 